morning everyone today is monday january 6th at 8 23 a.m today is free video watch this day so for those of you that don't know every monday i like to put out a free video watch list on youtube and basically every day i like to put this out for members exclusively um so today is kind of like your sneak peek into our daily process of preparing for the morning so if you guys didn't already know i actually took on the challenge of seeing how much i could grow a thirty thousand dollar account in 30 days and I was able to grow that to about $113,000, which is an $83,973 gain. Uh, me and Bao put together a free mentorship course explaining uh, our process of how we did this. That is available at myinvestingclub.co. So reserve your spot and you get to see it. There's limited seating every single week, so be sure to reserve your spot. Um, also, I will be in Miami this week. Uh, on Friday, I am hosting a Miami meetup. This is open for members and non-members. Uh, this is kind of the first time I'm going on vacation in six months. And I wasn't really planning on doing a meetup. I just planned on getting fucked up and staying at the beach all day. But I really want to meet everyone. I really just want to hang out for a little bit. So this is your opportunity to hang out, grab some drinks, meet some traders in the area. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be at the Fountain Blue at 1 to 3 p.m. on Friday, January 10th. All right, let's get started. So uh, SAVA, right? So here's the thing, man. This stock is up from 1 to 10. It's up 1,000%, right? It's up 1,000%. So a stock like this gets a lot of uh, short sellers' attention. But the reality is, is that this is kind of like a black swan setup. It pushed up, it had its first red day here, it pulled back, and then it broke out on the daily chart. And then it tried to pull back, and then it broke out on the daily chart. So this is a very, very bullish daily chart. Now, that doesn't mean that you should be buying it up here at 11. Who knows? Maybe it goes to 100, maybe it goes to fucking $3 again. No one fucking knows. The point is, is that this is way too dangerous for a short seller to be attacking. The ideal setup on something like this is if this has a death candle from 1068 down to 980 and then bounces to 10 and then goes red and then we short it when it goes red. This is something that I do not want to touch. I do not advocate anyone touch it. These are the type of stocks that blow you up on the short side. So I'm very proud that all of us at MIC avoided this shit like the plague and we focused on the easier setup. So that's an avoid. I just put it on the watch list to let you guys know that I'm not fucking with it. Uh, so yeah, next stock is SES. Um, keeping this very, very simple. If you see over here, there's one, two, three, three times at $10 are uh, rejected. So clearly $10 is going to be a great level to short against. Yuma, this was a very expensive locate in the morning. It's six cents a share. Uh, to me, that's way too expensive on a stock like this. But uh, if it does pop towards this 495 level, I mean, that's big time uh, resistance. So I want to be shorting it if I get it up there. If not, I'm not going to bother locating it. FCEL, this is a crowded short. Every single short seller uh, knows this from the past. This ran in the plug days. Uh, did its big parabolic move with plug. It never hit 600. This is a reverse split. Um, so every short seller that's attacking this has some sort of nostalgic feeling from it. That's why I think they're holding for a little bit longer than usual. Uh, that's not what we do here. We trade the price action. We don't trade based on our emotions. So basically, I'm looking for a 250 push in the morning. Very clear 250 resistance here. Uh, so that's basically it. I'm not going to be touching this fluff. Club, not really much volume yet. This might be a potential chat room pump. Keeping it on radar just in case they pump it. CEI, uh, looking for a push towards 230 in the morning. How did I get that level? Look at this resistance area here. So ideally, some fantasy orders up here if we get it. If it kind of goes red, not really touching it, not much meat on the bone. There's support at 170. So if you're shorting it here, best case scenario, you're going to make 20 cents. That's not enough for us. We want to have higher odds. We want the stock to be higher so that it has more room to come down. Life, easy to borrow stock, high institutional ownership, uh, major gap up, not really interested. Uh, I, I don't really know yet. These are the type of stocks that look appealing at first, but... Maybe if we break seven for a quick scalp, but if you're not fast at getting out of this, you're going to be in trouble. So I highly recommend if you are shorting this to drop your size a little bit just to be able to deal with the finesse and the wiggle room that it has. 
Last but not least, PSTV. What I see here on the daily chart is a resistance level towards 350. The reason why I like this setup is because you can see every time it got volume, it pulled back. Every time it got volume, it pulled back. 350, 340 level is kind of our area to watch. Uh, so what I'm doing at the end of these videos is I'm putting a secret word in there. If you are an MIC, please reply to the thread. Do not reply to the main room. There's people who reply to random shit everywhere. So today's secret word is going to be uh, uh, Don Julio. I have some tequila over there. That's what I'm looking at. So Don Julio is today's secret word. Uh, also, what do you guys think of these map shirts? So these are our member appreciation shirts. So every quarter we do the member appreciation program where we reward members who are helping other members the most. This is our own custom design that we give out and it has your MIC name on it too. So I know I'm kind of rambling, but uh, have a good day. Good luck, everyone. Uh, I'm going to Miami on Wednesday, so I will not be available for calls, texts, emails, anything. So if you need anything, hit up Bao, Tosh, or any of the other mods, and I will see you guys at the Miami meetup.